search areas are specified on the Search Constraints tab in the Properties dialog box. Let's take a look at that. We'll click on Search Constraints. We can specify absolute search areas um, for multi-page documents and we've got some different settings for multi-page documents like just search on all the pages, even pages, odd pages, or even a page range. So if I used or specified a page range such as this, we're going to look on pages 2, 4, 6 through 8, and 15. So I'll just set that, set that back to all. And then we can specify a region using coordinates in the following format, from left to top to right to bottom. And you can specify the coordinates of several rectangles in this field. And we can do this using, this will kind of be made simpler by using the measure tool. So let me cancel out of there, use the measure tool. And I'm going to click this checkbox automatically copy results to clipboard. And since we're going after account statements, I could do an area such as this. There are my coordinates that's been copied. So I'll go back to search constraints, click add. And maybe for this one, I'll specify a range of page one because this is only going to be found on the first page. And I can paste in that region and click add. Now that we've specified this absolute search area, we can actually test it. And we will see the results here in the header group for the keyword account statement. And there's our absolute search area, which conforms to this rectangle that we drew with our measure tool. We have another feature called Exclude Regions. So the Exclude Region of Elements properties allows you to exclude from the search area the region of the found hypothesis for a given element. So if we're searching for some element, we can exclude it from our search area. If no hypothesis for the exclude element is generated, this constraint will not affect the search area of the element. So this is a very powerful capability. I'll just go back into this element and under search constraints, we've got the ability to specify an exclude element. So if I click on add, if I wanted to exclude the bank name, I could click on OK, click on apply, OK, and we'll match again. And we'll see what this looks like. I'll click on my header. And the gray area represents the search area. So we specified the search area with the absolute search constraints, but you notice that we've excluded the bank name. And so that doesn't show up as gray, it shows up as white. So if you're worried about capturing data incorrectly or capturing conflicting data, the exclude uh, capability is really, really helpful. Another topic that we can look at now is uh, the ability to set relations. So I will take a look at the Relations tab. And with this Relation tab, we can specify where something should be looked for relative to where something else was found. So we'll add a new relation here to kind of show how that works. And we'll say we actually want to look for the keyword uh, account statement below the bank statement. So I can click on bank name. And then I can say look below the bottom of the bank statement. And that green shows what our search area now is. So I'll add that relation and click on Apply and OK. And when we do a quick test, we shouldn't get any different results. But we can look at the search area now. keyword account statement. And the search area was a little bit higher, but it's been decreased by looking. We had a, st a static search area, but we added a relation. So wherever this bank name is found, we're going to look below that.